LFO is a complex low-frequency oscillator modulator in max for life format. It gives the user complete control of a pair of cycling envelopes waveforms which can then be combined internally in a resulting third signal, available on its own as a modulation source. This device is also capable of multi-targeting, meaning that it can modulate up to three different parameters at the same time with assignable modulation sources. This kind of flexibility allows to create an infinite spectrum of modulation while keeping the result consistent. LFO oscilloscopes are static in order to favor a detailed and clear view of the waveforms, but on the other hand, moving cursors are provided to make modulation movement more explicit. The device is also color-coded for the sake of immediacy and simplicity. All of the envelopes share the same frequency settings that can be found on the very left side of the device. It's possible to set it to be either in pure hertz, in free mode, or in sync with the project's tempo by selecting different time measurements. When in free mode, a reset button allows for phase resetting as well. In the upper part of the device, we can find three static oscilloscopes, each one with different features. The first two waveforms represent the signals the user is given direct control on. These two sections are identical except for the rate parameter on the second oscilloscope, which is used to increase the frequency of the second modulation signal in relationship to the global frequency settings. When at 1, its frequency remains unchanged, while it starts increasing when lowering its value. Right below the oscilloscope we can see the wave shape selector. It's possible to click on a shape and immediately jump to that precise setting or using the slider to morph between each available configuration. In the controlling section, it's possible to sculpt each waveform according to different parameters. Phase is used to move the waveform's phase. Swing applies a swing similar to the one used in MIDI sequencing. Bend is used to bend the waveform either exponentially when set above 1, or logarithmically when below 1. Squeeze is used to set an amount of cycles to happen in between the defined frequency. Transform is for modifying the waveform when it exceeds the oscillation boundary of 1. The different transformation modes available are Clip, which clips the value and holds it at 1, Fold, which mirrors the exceeding portion of the waveform upside down, and Wrap which transposes the exceeding portion of the waveform to its lower range. The number below the mode selector is the gain parameter, which can be used to amplify the waveform and obtain more radical transformations. Finally, the amp parameter is used to scale the resulting waveform and balance it properly with the other source. The rightmost oscilloscope is where our third waveform is shown. The third signal is generated by carrying out math operations between the first two, often leading to very complex and unpredictable shapes. In the upper part, the 1-2 button is used to change the order of the sources in our selected operation. This is useful when applying subtraction, division or modulo, where switching numerator and denominator can radically change the whole result. The section on the right is the transform parameter, identical to the one we already found in the other two signals. Below the oscilloscope is where we can select the math operation to carry out between our first and second signal. We have addition, subtraction, multiplication, division and modulo. Under the third oscilloscope it's possible to see one of the three target windows available in LFO. To reveal the remaining two, simply click on the target button located below the frequency settings.
Each target can be assigned to receive one of the three envelopes as its source for modulation, as well as a noise signal. When assigned, the target window changes its color according to the selected source. The assignment is not exclusive, therefore it is also possible to route the same signal to all of the three targets at the same time, modifying its range and smoothing its curve independently. The three targets are pretty much identical, except for the delay and sample and hold blocks. In the first target, it's possible to activate an internal sample and hold circuit by selecting a time measurement in the SNH drop-down menu. While in the remaining two targets, this is replaced by a delay window which allows the respective signal to be delayed by its percentage value in relation to frequency settings. To turn off the sample and hold circuit, simply select off from its respective menu.